my DIY brownie. Let's start off with the brownie. I know it's not quite a beauty hack, but this is the only food related hack that I've got. It's making a brownie in a mug and it takes exactly one minute to make. So you wanna put in all your dry ingredients. I've personalized the mug here, so I just wrote with a Sharpie all the ingredients and exactly how to make this brownie in a mug on, brownie in a mug on the mug. <laughs> and you want to start off by just putting in all your dry ingredients and then mix in your wet ingredients just mix them really well make sure that you scrape right to the bottom of the mug to get all the flour that's in the bottom just mix it and then you can add a dash of vanilla essence in there if you want and you want to just pop this in the microwave so you're going to get this sort of consistency which is runny pop it in the microwave for one minute and let that go and as soon as it comes out you've got your very own sticky brownie which absolutely tastes delicious I, delicious i just put some icing sugar over the top just decorate it you might as well take a selfie just to celebrate the experience but moving on we're going to start off with coca-cola cows so if you don't have a color or you kind of want to try something different and it looks pretty cool too you just want to make your hair a little damp so spritz it with a little bit of water then you're just going to brush through the hair and we are actually going to use the Coca-Cola cans. These could be beer cans. They don't have to be Coke cans. And this is not sponsored by Coca-Cola. It could be any sort of can. And you want to just use that. I've got the small ones, the tiny ones that you get, not the actual full regular size that you get. And you just want to clip that in place. You want to keep doing that all over the head. As if you were using hot them the hot rollers. And then what you want to do is because your hair's damp, you want to use a hairdryer and you want to heat the cows in place. Now this really works because the actual, is it aluminum? Actually heats up so it heats your waves in place and this is what it looks like. So it's quite messy, it's nothing too perfect but a really nice voluminous wave. And I've just styled it off here with a hat. Next, I'll be going through how you can keep your lipstick on for longer. So you want to line your lips. So when you line your lips, line the whole of your lip. Then apply your lipstick. It works best with matte, just because matte lipsticks do stay on longer. Then blot that lipstick off and then reapply your lip liner over the top. And that's going to make your lipstick last a lot longer. Now, if you're in a rush and you need some quick blush but you don't have any, just pat off your lipstick, whatever it may be. Um, especially with rosier ones and you can just kiss your palm and use your palm just to tint your cheeks with your lipstick now if you've got your mineralized powder I'm not too sure about other powders but I know it works with max mineralized loose powder you can spray in your fix plus and this will just create a wet foundation for you straight away to use and it applies a lot more cover than the powder will as well now you can personalize your own lipstick if you are always mixing two colors together or three colors together to get that perfect shade what you want to do is just take the shades that you usually mix so i like up the amp and i like this siren song which was a limited edition that you can't get a hold of anymore so what i do is i mix them together usually one on top of the other but i thought i might as well just mix them on a metal spoon over a tea light you can mix them so they melt down and you just want to get that sort of runny consistency. Now when I do it, I like it a little bit lighter. I like it more of a lilac. So I put a little bit more of the Alluring Aquatic Siren Song lipstick on. And then just pour it into a container. This could be any container that you have. I put my brush in a bit too quick. So it is quite soft, but it does set. And there you go. You have your own personalized lipstick. Now, if you want to learn another way of contouring, you can actually do it with your lip pencils. What you can do is just use a lip pencil. I've used chestnut here. Heat it over a tea light so it goes soft. And then you just want to rub it in with your finger. Use a tone that's going to be a little bit cooler. And it's going to be quite strong. So be a little bit careful. And you can just use this with your fingers. So I've popped it on into your cheekbones. Really blend it in with the other fingers that are clean. And you can see me do it here again. And it's going to give you a contour, a really quick contour my next tip would be using eyeshadows as highlighters here I'm just using retro spec and it uses a beautiful highlight everywhere everywhere that you would do the normal highlight you could just use eyeshadow you don't need to purchase a specific highlighter to highlight with now if you really really love highlighting like I do and I really like a dewy skin you can actually use coconut oil so what I do is just pour a little bit of melted coconut oil 
dab it on and I love it. It might look oily to some, but because I've got dry skin, I just love this sort of shiny look. I like to look greasy. Now, if you find that your gel liners and your paint parts are drying out really quick, an uh, easy tip, a quick easy tip is when you use them, just turn them upside down to stop the air getting into them so they won't dry as quickly. Struggling to apply glitter, I used to have this problem all the time and I didn't know how to make it stick. It wasn't as strong and it would fall everywhere, but I have a solution for you. I actually use duo glue, so I use the translucent, transparent duo glue, the white one. I tap it onto my eyelids, so I'm showing you on the hand, just tap it on a really thin layer you want until it gets a little bit tacky and then you want to grab your glitter and just stamp it on, don't slide it over, just stamp the glitter on and you can see that it will really stick without, with very little fallout to be honest, without that much fallout which is great. Another quick tip would be if you do use face and body, and I'm not too sure with other brands, but if you use face and body from MAC, because it is water based, if you take the lid off and leave it overnight, it will actually be thicker the next day and it will be stronger in coverage if you find that it really doesn't cover much for you. A quick DIY makeup remover is actually coconut oil, so anything oil based is really going to work and you can actually mix it with Fix Plus and it makes a milky consistency. This is what I like to do to take off eye makeup. It's really gentle and it actually removes really, really well. If you find that you've run out of wipes or you found that you've run out of cleanser and you need something that's still going to be soothing on the skin, then use coconut oil and you can mix it with Fix Plus, but you don't have to. If you haven't quite grasped the way in which to do threading with a thread, you can use this handy little tool. I'll leave the link down below from where I got it, but it was really cheap. It was about a pound or less and you can get them quite a lot on eBay. You just want to twist the spring. It does hair and it is exactly like threading. It just pulls out the hairs and it's a great tool to have. Last but not least, for you guys who love to play with the camera, I'm just going to show you that you can build your own set. It doesn't have to be a studio. Build your own set. I've built mine in my garage and that was it. Let me guys know what your favourite hack was down below.